pretty much about your business. So um, the name of the owner or the manager of the business, the phone number, the business name, the business email. Um, this is the email is where all your bookings and inquiries will come to. Um, and then if we scroll down a little bit further, this is the um, about your guide section. So this is where you actually put a bit about the business or about the guide that's running it um, to give the customer a little bit more knowledge um, of who's actually taking the experience of workshop or tour. Um, now, people that have RESD and manage their bookings all through RESD, we do offer uh, that. So, all you need to do is um, put your RESD alias, which is just the end of it. Um, you'll see it when you have it in your RESD. So, it has the details there anyway um, for you. So, you, you do that, verify, and then you can actually create the um, your RESD activities in the edit activities part. Um, we also, once you've created your activities, need the ABN so we can approve it and make sure your business um, is legitimate um, and also we'll get in contact with you um, just to have a chat to you, make sure you're happy how everything works and um, to see um, where, what you want to achieve from my guy. Um, don't forget we'll also need your BSBN account number so this is where we'll pay you, um, makes it really simple and easy. You receive a remittance on the Wednesday and um, following 24 hours after which is the Thursday you'll receive payment so um, makes it really simple and easy. And down further is a picture of the guide or of the logo of the business or just a nice photo of um, someone doing the activity or something like that. So we offer one photo there um, just so you can have a look. Now, it's easy if you want to change it, drag and drop, or you can click to upload. At um, any stage, you can have a quick look at how, how it looks. So this is how mine looks at the moment. So if you're happy with it, then you can, or you're not, just make sure you go back. Um, you can either go back to edit profile or back to the separate tab. So you can have a look, and if you didn't like that word or um, you misspelled something, you can easily change it. Just make sure you always hit save. Um, so that's pretty much the end of this tutorial. If you'd like to see more, just go to the YouTube uh, page and you can have a look at the other ones. Um, thank you.